Well, prior to the scheduled ambush interview with the, the regional director of the Department of Health, Director Tita uh, Calwen, uh, we have here an audience uh, participated in by our very own district supervisor, Sir Bing Sidayao Jr., Barangay Captain Jingle Pasqua Tan, uh, Sir Ferdi Rumias of Bannister Central School, and several uh, personnel of the Department of Health together with the director herself for an ambush interview through the facilities of your balloncam.com, Balloncam.com. So please stand by for that ambush interview with the director of health. Halimbawa, yung gusto ni Mayor, i-enroll mo, eh hindi naman talagang poor. So yung poor talaga. And this was identified by the Municipal Development, uh, Social Welfare and Development. So dapat talagang na-identify na yung poor. So ngayon, meron ng slot per province. Uh, so sinabalot na namin yung pera from the DOH to the province of Tugaya, Isabela, Vizcaya, Quirino, in the name of the provincial government. So, nandyan na yung pera. Mas, problema na ni Governor, paano yung pamigay sa mga mayor? Kasi yung mga mayor, ang may pangalan ng mga uh, identified poor. O, oh, yun na. So, ngayon, inumpisa na ng DOH yan, sana yung mga local government executive. Yung mga mayor, mag-enroll na rin sila ng kanila. Kasi eh, counterparty nyo eh, national and local government. Kasi kapag awad sa may ID na yung tao at nagkasakit, pwede rin gamitin. Ino-honor na yan ng ating mga ospital. So, ganun, ganun yung programa ngayon. So, while we have the universal health care, patuloy pa rin yung mga public health programs. Katulad yan itong dengue, malaria, control program, lifestyle control program, yung mga lifestyle diseases. Kasi yan na uso ngayon. Hypertension. What what brings you here to the district of Balesteros at this moment? Yeah, uh, we're here today to distribute uh, bed nets or screens for the school, which is for the prevention of the dengue fever, which is now the prevalent disease right here in Region 2, not only in Cagayan, but all over the Philippines. If you remember last year, there was an increase in the dengue fever in almost all our hospitals. They are clogged with dengue cases. And so this year, and uh, luckily, Ballesteros uh, School is one of the schools selected to be given these nets. And we are so happy that uh, uh, Mr. Rubias and our district supervisor, uh, Mr. Sidayao, and you, of course, also Prince, our principal, are uh, cooperative with us so that we can make all of these nets work by helping us with the search and destroy, which is the prevention for the dengue cases and deaths right here in Cagayan. So your, your actions that then, the director, is for the preventive measures? Yes, for the preventive measure of dengue. Okay, so we thank you very much, uh, director, for choosing and having Ballesteros District, particularly Dito Po sa Ballesteros Central School, mm -hmm. as your venue for the distribution of this long-lasting Nets. Nets. Uh, what do we mean treated by long? Nets. Treated. Treated nets. And can you tell us some uh, more more of the details of these treated uh, nets? Uh, these uh, nets are, are like mosquito nets, but they are used to screen the doors and windows of our schools, so that when the mosquito rests on the net, it will slowly die, and this will now prevent these mosquitoes to bite our kids, children. Uh, school children in the schools. But at the same time, we also have to help the schools by cleaning our school campuses, and we have to do search and destroy operation of the breeding places of mosquitoes. By the way, the mosquito that causes the dengue mm. fever mm. is the so-called Aegis aegypti uh, strain, strains, uh, uh, strain of mosquito, which is the day-biting mosquito as compared to our night biting mosquito causing mm -hmm. malaria which is called anaphylis mosquito counting oh. in for long term one of the trivia about these mosquitoes is it true my uh, doc, director that the only the female yes. mosquito bite only the female mosquito bites because the female mosquito needs the blood 
whether human or animal blood, for its reproduction. Hindi makaka-itlog yung lamok na yan kung hindi maka-inom ng dugo para siyang vampira. Something Kaya, trivia, no? Kaya, the vampire na yan. <laughs> okay, so we have to thank you. Yung male mosquito naman, mm -hmm. taga ano lang yun, taga boom, yung, 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 ganun lang siya. Uh, yung sound. Uh, sound. Hindi siya kumakagat na para kumain ng dugo. Only the female mosquito bites. Okay, this is a, this is one of the little things na gusto natin i-share sa ating mga listeners, probably director. And we have to thank you for these uh, small details at nalaman natin na huli na natin yung mga female mosquitoes and then pabayanan. Okay, so aside from that, uh, director, you want to say any uh, reminder sa ating mga okay, ma ma maari um, maging uh, listeners? Yeah, we are in a hurry, okay. we have to go, but okay. just to remind all of us, especially in the municipality of Ballesteros. Foremost, we would like to thank our host today, uh, District Supervisor Sid Dayao, okay. our principal, Mr. Uh, Ramias, uh, you, our principal. Uh, I forgot your so name. Much, Tell me your name. Paul Gimayan. Uh, Mr. Oh, Paul Gimayan. And uh, we have here Engineer Marisa Maningas, our project uh, coordinator <laughs> of the Malaria Control Program. <laughs> and all our staff of the Rural Health Unit of uh, Ballesteros, especially Dr. Talia. Okay. And to all of you out there, our kababayan in the municipality of Ballesteros, or all our school teachers in Ballesteros, uh, we hope that we can lower the prevalence and incidence of the dengue fever by co cooperating, helping in the cleanliness, and utilizing our nets that we have just gave you in our schools. Thank you so okay, much. Thank you so God much, Director.